Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today I'm gonna be trying to make a Huggy Wuggy mask. Huggy Wuggy is basically a scary uh, cartoon character from Poppy's Playhouse, which is a horror video game. Now I have repainted cheap Halloween masks in the past. Some of them turned out good. Some of them didn't turn out very good. But now I'm gonna be trying to make an original mask. So what I'm gonna have to do is start from scratch. And that means I'm gonna need some raw materials. Which luckily I have a bunch of in my garage. Oh yeah, some of this cardboard should do quite nicely. Cool. Okay, so the only thing I can think of to really make sure that it fits is to just outline my head. Because then I know that's the bare minimum of how big it has to be. Oh god, I think I got Sharpie in my hair. Does that look, does that look about right? It's a little derpy, but I think it might work. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna have to do is kind of draw his head shape. He has almost like a heart-shaped uh, triangle, and I'm going to need to kind of form that around my head. Yeah, I think this is a good start. Now to cut it out. Okay, and it is cut out. Now I need to make an exact copy of it for the other side. Oh, yay. There we go. Two, uh, fairly even pieces of cardboard. This is gonna be our base. Okay, now I'm gonna try and tape it together. I'm gonna start with the edges first. And I'm gonna use this pumpkin as a placeholder for my head on the inside. It kind of bounce. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could bounce. Oh, I kind of can. Bounce it like a basketball. Oh my gosh. Anyway, carefully insert the pumpkin into the cardboard. Oh gosh! <laughs> I made mistakes. Okay, so now I have this gaping hole at the bottom. So I'm gonna have to cover this part with cardboard. Here's a little bit of scrap cardboard that I'm gonna use to kind of cover up the bottom. Get in there, pumpkin. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm gonna tape the pumpkin in there. That way, hopefully it'll stay. Come on, pumpkin, stay in there. Oh gosh. Now I'm going to kind of outline the side right here. Always cut a little bit bigger than you need because you can always cut more off, but you can't put more back on. I learned that one from my barber. Cool. There we go. Booty boop. Let's see if it'll hold its shape now when I pull this pumpkin out. Oh, it worked. It looks like we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay guys, this is where I find out if I made it too small or not. Uh, I really hope this fits on my head, cause if not, I'm probably gonna cry. Here we go! Oh, ah, it's very tight. What do you guys think? Yeah? No? I don't know! I think I made it a little bit too small for my head, so I'm gonna have to maybe make it a little bigger up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this wood piece to kind of like open up. Mask a little bit. I already put one in there to help hold it open. I want to do this one. Okay, let's see if I have a little bit more room for my head now. Yeah, I think I'm good. That's a lot better. Now I'm gonna try and cut a hole for my eyes. That way I can see out of this thing. It's a little bit low. That should do it. Oh yes. I can see through the mask now. This is what the general shape is gonna be. And it looks like it's a little bit lopsided, which kind of makes me sad, because I'm just now seeing this. Ugh. Looks a little bit better, I guess. This is gonna be a very big head. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, Robbie, they're gonna see this giant hole just in the middle of the cardboard, and I'm like, yeah. Pretty much, uh, and that's exactly why we're going to put this black fabric over it. If you stretch it a little bit, you can see right through it, see? I mean, you can kind of see through it. It's not super great, but at least you won't be able to see my eyes. Now I have to figure out how the heck I'm gonna stretch this fabric on this cardboard. <laughs> I didn't think about this. I'm thinking duct tape. That ought to solve it, right? A little bit of duct tape. And then I'm gonna use my heat gun to make sure that the adhesive really gets into the fabric and this tape doesn't move. Oh no! That was not intentional. I got a little rip in it right there. I think a little bit of duct tape won't fix, I guess. Gonna hold it farther away then. There we go. It just needed a couple seconds. Now, I don't think this is ever coming off the fabric ever again. Now I'm going to use the last piece of tape to stretch it out. And there we go. Let's see if you can actually see through the fabric. Oh, you can see my hand. That's a good sign. Hello! Okay, I think we're good. Double checking everything works. Oh my gosh. I can very clearly 
see through this. Can you see my face at all? I don't think you can. Dude, you can't see my face. That, that works really well. I should probably figure out a way to make it not so wobbly on my face, but it's looking pretty good so far as a shell, okay? Okay, now we're gonna start working on his mouth. So it looks like his mouth is kind of like a tubular, I don't know what that is. It's like a red tube thing, and then it's a bunch of black behind it with all of his scary teeth. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this foam and a heat gun to kind of help shape it a little bit into the curved shapes of his mouth. I'm just gonna go in and hot glue them together. That way I have one giant piece. You know, I think it might work. That looks like a good corner of his mouth. And then right about here, it has to start curving up. I can definitely smell this burning, so I think I'm gonna have to break out my fan. No! I just cracked it. Nothing a little hot glue won't fix, I guess. I think I messed up. I'm not sure how the heck I'm supposed to do this, but this doesn't look right. Oh god. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one more time. I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit, and then we keep going. It's not bad, I guess. Okay. It's coming together. Oh. Okay, guys, so I'm really not happy with this foam. For one, it's too thin. For two, it just keeps breaking on me and it's very fragile. So we're gonna try using this pool noodle instead and I'm gonna use some wire to kind of help shape it a little bit. Uh, there we go. Just shove that in there. Then we're gonna, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm definitely liking this method a little bit better. We have a little bit more of a definitive mouth shape now. So that's good. Try the other side now. Oh yes, that works. I think I may have to add one in the middle. Use my screwdriver to shove that right in there. There we go. That's holding its shape a little bit better now. Now to glue it all together. I kind of messed up with the hot glue gun. I got it a little too hot and it just started burning the pool noodle. Said it once, I'll say it again. Nothing a little duct tape won't fix. Good as new. Seam, what seam? I see no seam. There we go. That's kind of like his lips. So just to make it even, I'm gonna go in and put tape all around his lips. Keep the consistency the same, you know? Okay, that was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie. But now we have the mouth all done. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna add some liquid latex. I don't know if you guys noticed this yellow paint, but a little earlier, I tried to paint this red and uh, I ended up only having yellow. It had a red cap on it and I have no red spray paint. So I am going to put latex on it, and then afterwards I'm gonna try and paint it red with just like red paint that I have because I don't think any of the paint that I currently have will actually stick to this except for spray paint but you know what so much paint sticks to latex so that's why I'm just gonna cover this thing in latex plus it'll give it that very like human lip texture very creepy exactly what we're going for well now I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit overnight and hopefully it'll be dry by the time I wake up Okay guys, it's the next day, and now I'm gonna paint this bad boy. I'm hoping that the latex really just helps the paint stay on a little better, and it looks like it is, so that's good. I mean, they're not like smooth lips like Huggy Wuggies, but you know what, it's fine, it'll work. Looks pretty good, now we're gonna let it dry for a little bit. Okay, and this is nice and dry. It is the perfect shape for his mouth. And he has a bunch of teeth all inside of his mouth, but he also has almost like a black background, like a gaping void. So in order to capture that gaping void full of Teeth. I'm gonna use this foam that I got off of. I don't even know what. I don't know where I got this from. I think I have just enough if I use some scraps to completely cover the back. I'm trying to be very sparingly with this foam because I don't have a lot left. Every piece of foam counts right now. See that? I don't have enough. Oh! Looks like I have this tiny bit of foam that I can pull apart. It comes in layers, like an onion. But unfortunately, it doesn't come apart very nicely. Well, I think I'm gonna have to try something else. So the only thing that I found that I could possibly use is this white foam, but then it doesn't match the black void. <gasps> I just remembered. I need to be able to see. I have this hole that I don't wanna cover. So if we take out that hole, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I have so much more foam. Wow, that could almost like cover it. That like works, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over. I didn't paint the backside, don't judge me, okay? I genuinely didn't think it was very important to paint the backside because you're never gonna see it, hopefully. And just like everything else in this project, I'm gonna use duct tape to hold it together. Duct tape holds everything together, except 
except for your life. I learned that one the hard way. Remember, when you do this, you don't have to be perfect. Huggy Wuggy in himself is not perfect. No one is perfect. Not you, not me, not the annoying kid down the street that stole our package. Give it back, please. Seriously, if you don't give it back, I'm gonna tell your parents. Anyway, flip this over. You know, uh, it's not bad. I'm not the most proud of this, but it's gonna work. I'll make it work. Now I'm gonna take these acrylic nails that I bought on Amazon. I made sure to buy the extra sharp ones that were kind of white. That way I didn't have to paint them. Then we're just gonna grab an X-Acto knife and do a little incision. Make it just big enough to where you can barely insert the nail. Make sure to use the bigger ones on the outside. And as you go in, add smaller ones. That way it looks like his teeth are getting smaller. Okay, now that I got that all done, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and tape the teeth down. That way they're nice and secure. This is actually looking really fantastic. Way better than I thought it would, if I'm being totally honest. I tried really hard to match Huggy Wuggy's teeth. I went in and kind of replicated all the teeth that I could find. I went in one by one. That's... That's not Huggy Wuggy. Anyway, I made it look really good and I'm really happy with this. Now we're gonna put this off to the side for a second and we're gonna focus back on the main part of the head. Now I have to work on covering this bad boy in fabric. I found this fabric also on Amazon. I think it was like $15 for a yard. Pretty good, in my opinion. It's just barely wide enough for me to cover it. Oh, that's beautiful. And the colors are just like Fuzzy Wuzzy, like to a T and even the length of the hair. Absolutely perfect, I love it. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of cut it to the shape of his head. Looks pretty good. I also want to make sure that the fur goes up because all of his fur points up and not down. And I'm really glad that I bought so much of this stuff because I'm going to literally need double. Wow, that blends in really nicely actually. I also have to remember the face hole. Looks good. This is where my face goes. A perfect little hole for my face. Now we're going to use some spray adhesive to stick it on. There we go. And there's a little bit of overlap right here so I'm just going to be very careful and cut this off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that blends right in. One solid piece. This looks really fantastic. Now I just have to do the same thing to the bottom and the back side. Okay guys, so now it's time to combine the two together. Wow. This is looking really good. Like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm really proud of this. So now I have to figure out how I'm gonna attach these lips. There's also just the tiniest amount of like blue fuzz that kind of pops up whenever you look underneath the lips. It kind of bothers me a little bit. So I'm gonna go in and just put some duct tape maybe. Oh my gosh, there's blue fuzz all over this. There's gonna be blue fuzz all over everything from now on. Okay, so it does in fact stick to the fuzz okay. Just gonna cover this with black tape to really hide the mouth part. There we go, how's that? I like that a lot better. You can't really even see in there. So the only way I can really think of to attach these lips is to screw it in. I also want to grab some washers. Yeah. Something like this size ought to do. So I'm going to go in with my screw, add the washer, and then theoretically it should just go through the cardboard into the pool noodle. And I'm really trying hard not to just have spiky things just pointing into my face. So this is hopefully the best way to do it. So then we're going to go up in here and just, uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, screw it in. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's gonna hold our pool noodle in. I think I'm gonna do around like four or five of these. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so good. I'm baffled by how good this is turning out. Now, I have two options here. I can either go with these googly eyes, which kind of fits him, but his, uh, oh my gosh, this looks way scarier on camera, actually. Anyway, these kind of fit him, and I could probably go in and insert a bigger disc, but I think that these really hit home. Look how creepy that is. I really like that a lot. I kind of almost want to make them interchangeable, but this is really good. I'm gonna try using some of these Velcro strips. Sorry, Huggy Wuggy. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a shave right here just to make it so that the Velcro strips actually stay on. I just hope I'm centering this correctly. Just really stick it on there so that it doesn't come off. Make sure all the adhesive really just gets into that hair. Stick one on the back of the eye and okay. That worked really good actually. Wow. Okay, now I just gotta do the same with the other side. And there we go. This looks too good. Like, way too good. Wow. I also put some Velcro on the other side. Let's see how hard this is gonna be to change. Okay, so this Velcro kind of fell off. But luckily, it just kind of sticks right back on. I might go in with some adhesive and just keep that there eventually. But, oh my gosh. This is awesome. I'm gonna try it on. Okay, after about a day of work, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Let's do the Huggy Wuggy dance. Yeah, I'm actually 
actually so happy with how this turned out. We should go show Tori Dabransky. Hey guys, here we go. Sorry it's so dark. It gets dark at like four o'clock. I can't do anything about it. Tori Dabransky? I'll be in there in a second. Hey Tori Dabransky. Dude, that looks pretty cool. Whoa, way to go. <laughs> You like these eyeballs? Yeah, good job. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I have to walk through the door sideways because I can't walk through otherwise. Look at this. Oh God. Anyway, that was my mask. <laughs> okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Look at some of this fire right down there. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. If you guys like this video where I make a DIY huggy wuggy mask, you guys will absolutely love the playlist where I repaint cheap spirit Halloween masks. Those are a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. If you guys want me to do a Poppy's Playhouse video in real life, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready. Okay, bye.